Now we want to install Oracle Enterprise Linux 5.4. If you create a new virtual machine, we're going to use custom uh, workstation. Install the OS later because I don't like to have that um, easy setup crap. And we're going to select RHEL 5, 64-bit. Now I realize we are actually installing Oracle Enterprise Linux, but you know what? It really is just RHEL 5. I'm sorry. So give it a name of OEL 554, uh, one proc, and just a reasonable amount of memory for now. NAT, that's fine. Don't necessarily need it connected to the main network. And we're going to give ourselves 80 gigs as a single file for the hard disk. OK? I usually go to customize hardware right away and select the ISO file that represents my operating system. There it is. Okay, there's, there is the ISO that I downloaded earlier for Oracle Enterprise Linux Release 5 Update 4, Release 5 Update 4, 64 bit. Okay? All right. Hit play on that, and uh, you can use whatever virtualization platform you like. I'm going to do a straight graphical install. And in this case, we can skip. Next, English. Keyboard is US English. I want to wipe all of my data. It's a fresh VM. So just say remove all partitions is fine. Yes, I'm sure. I don't want to use DHCP. I don't want to use IPv6. We're going to manually give ourselves an IP, and I'm going to use 31. Seems good to me. And I'm going to give myself a manually controlled host name as well. 01.example.com. Okay. 01 because I'm probably going to create at least another VM or two um, so that I can do things like data guard and whatever. All right. So that's my gateway, and I'm going to use that as my um, oops as my DNS as well. Okay, now that's of course going to be specific to your NAT. Now in my case, uh, I do have this virtual interface plugged into the uh, VMNet 8, which is the default NAT virtual network. And if you go to Edit Virtual Network Editor, um, you know, assuming you're using VMware Workstation, you can see under my VMNet 8, um, that's the subnet that I've configured it for. Okay, it doesn't clash with anything on my uh, on my network here. Set your time zone doesn't really matter. Set your root password to something you know. I'm just going to use Oracle. And we are good. Okay, you, We really don't need any of this stuff. Okay, So um, uh, because we're going to uh, install Oracle validated RPM, which seems to me to be the most cogent way to configure an OEL 5.4 environment that's likely to be what we get in the exam. So there will probably be an Oracle named operating system user and um, you know there will probably be a directory created for us that's choned for Oracle etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I, I don't know at what point of the install things will be at. Um, I hope I'm not actually required to install all the product from scratch because it could take a lot of time but you know what I'm going to be doing it anyhow. So it's a good thing to practice, specifically with this OS and with this software set. OK, so we are done. <coughs> now, when we first reboot, what I like to do is I like to go into single user mode to avoid actually booting the first time into the operating system. Okay, it's kind of like a back door. Gets me in as root. I can make some changes to the OS. And my goal is to build a base operating system box that I can use and clone off into multiple um, boxes that uh, I will actually use for my playpen. Now, this seems to be a good uh, approach to studying because then you can, you know, let's say you. Uh, mess up an install or something, you can easily just revert back to 
um, to a previous version of your entire box. <coughs> Also, the nice thing about most virtualization platforms is you have the ability to take snapshots and stuff like that, right? So um, if you don't want to pay for VMware Workstation, okay, if you don't want to pay for this, what you can do is download Oracle Virtual uh, VirtualBox, and uh, that's actually free for use, especially for education. Uh, you can get the plugins and have all the optimized drivers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it can also do snapshots, which is very cool. Okay, so I'm just going to edit my Etsy hosts file and put in some entries here for my hosts. Okay, and I'll take out that entry on the localhost line because it's really not correct. And uh, okay, so this all looks good. And I'm just going to change my interface, take out the hardware address, take out the broadcast take out the uh, network lines because we can calculate that from the net mask uh, and the IP address okay but we do want static and I might as well get rid of this comment as well save that out and um, we're gonna make a directory a stage actually you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm going to install VMware tools So just mount this somewhere. Untar the VMware tools somewhere. And I'm going to run the install with dash D, which means don't bother me. D for don't bother. OK, so the. Um, the media has been ejected and now I just want to reattach the DVD ISO for the operating system mount that somewhere let's say media okay and I'm going to create a yum repository for that directory so we're gonna call this uh, cd-rom dot repo this file right here and I'm gonna call this cd-rom and its base URL is file um, media server I believe is a subdirectory within the DVD and gpg check equals no so now I should be able to do a yum list nope oh did I not actually mount it Hmm. It seems as though my VMware Tools DVD or CD-ROM has been kind of stuck in here. Let's do that. Go to Settings. Connected. Oh, you know what? It's the wrong ISO. That's why. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So of course you want to insert the DVD for the operating system, not for the VMware tools. And there we go, there's my server directory. So if I do a yum list, my repo works. And the reason I went through all that trouble was so that I could do this, yum install oracle-validated. Okay, now Oracle validated RPM includes all the dependencies that I'm going to require for installing Oracle database product. It misses a few things, which I'm also going to take care of right now. Oh no, it seems to have gotten them. There's lib aio devel. Sysstat is in there. Okay. 
so we're good. Another annoyance is right here in Etsy FS tab. We want to make sure that we mount this uh, shared memory so that automatic memory management can work. Okay, so temp, oops, size equals let's say uh, I don't know, let's say three gigs, three thousand megs. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, we are now ready to pack this thing up as sort of the base operating system. So I'm just going to unmount the DVD, eject it as well just for good measure, and hide my tracks, so to speak, and shut this guy down.